All right, good evening and welcome to Southwestern Christian University, home of the Eagles, both men's and women's team. Today, the ladies' team, the Southwestern Christian University Lady Eagles, welcomes Oklahoma Panhandle State. And uh, glad to have Panhandle State Aggies here at Southwestern Christian on a cold, cold Thursday evening. Southwestern State held off Oklahoma, Pandle, Oklahoma Panhandle State 87-81 in their last meeting in Goodwill, uh, Oklahoma. SCU was down 65-60 after the third quarter, but went on a 16-1 fourth quarter run, run which allowed the Eagles to uh, grab the road win and win it. It's been a weird year, obviously, and uh, Southwesterners faced multiple cancellations. Uh, they've only been able to play four of their 12 home games this season that they normally play. Only two of their conference games have been played at home, and uh, there'll be one more home game next week on uh, February 18th as they host John Brown for Senior Day. And uh, I know we'll have one girl who will be uh, uh, moving on after this year. Of course, they all have eligibilities left. But uh, from what I understand, Hannah Wade will not uh, exercise her uh, right for another year. She wants to go ahead and get her career started. Can't blame her on that. So she will uh, be honored uh, next Thursday evening here for senior night if we have those festivities. Uh, you just don't know anymore what's going to happen. Panhandle State has been playing their best basketball of the season as of late. After just starting 1-5 and five on the season, the team has won three of their last four games with the only loss coming to uh, Science and Arts of Chickasha squad. Uh, the team was only 6-24 and 24 in the 2019-20 season, so they are doing better. Senior Casa Mas Maskill comes into the game as the leading scorer in the Sooner Athletic Conference, 13th in NAIA at 21 points a game. She ranks fourth in three-point uh, average in the conference, so I uh, have to keep a close eye on her. SCU is averaging 82 points a game, scoring defense only allowing 67. They're shooting 43%, uh, giving up 38%. Three-point average, they're averaging almost 40 points on three-point shots. And uh, free throw percentage, 77%. So we're expecting a great game here tonight. It's warm inside the stadium, thank goodness. Pickens Springer Gymnasium, Mark Arthur Court, who is the coach of the girls team. He was the uh, men's coach for many, many years. He's got these girls playing at a high level of basketball. Now, tonight the Eagles had a major injury, injury at their last game and they're gonna be without Kia Mays, a 5'7 uh, senior from uh, Surreal, Oklahoma. So uh, we'll see how they uh, play with that injury. All right, both teams are over on the sidelines and meeting with their coaches. We're going to go down to DJ McDaniels just here in a second. He's going to give the starting lineups and uh, play the national anthem. He might even pray. You just never know about DJ. So uh, let's take it down to the court to DJ. Southwestern Christian University Eagles. At this time, we ask you to please rise and ring your hands for prayer, followed by the playing of our national anthem. Dear Lord, thank you for these teams. Thank you for the day. Thank you for the safe travels that both these teams have had. Let everybody stay safe. Keep all fans, spectators, and officials safe tonight. Let them play the best of their ability. As we pray, amen.
And now, here are the starting lineups. First, the visiting Yankees. Number four, Taylor Jones. Number 10, Myra McCasper. Number 14, Cassia McCasper. Number 22, Morgan Williamson. Number 30, Naomi Rodriguez. Eagles are in their home blue, or home white, trimmed in blue. They'll be going from right to left while Panhandle State is in black, trimmed in red. They'll be going left to right. Teams meeting with their coaches and now coming out on the floor. And Andrade will be jumping for the Eagles, I'm sure as she always is, and for Panhandle State. Number 22, Williamson will be jumping for them. All right, the whistle blows, ball is in the air, and the Eagles come away with the ball. Andrade, near wing, up top to Wade. Over to Clark. Clark to Yeager on the far wing inside to Wade. She spins, shoots just off. Ball comes out. Ball pulled down by Panhandle State. Jones will set it up. Gets it to McCaskill. We're gonna have to keep an eye on her all night long. Pass underneath, shot put up and a basket made. Basket made by Williamson for Panhandle State. Back come the Eagles. Yeager across the half court line. Andrade. Andrade up top to Clark. Man to man defense by Panhandle State. Clark, Clark to Andrade. She'll shoot a long three and she buries the first Eagle three ball of the game. That comes Panhandle State. Far side to Jones. She dribbles into the paint, throws a pass back along three put up, and that's an air ball by a McCaskill. That one's Myra McCaskill. And back come the Eagles with the ball. So we have Myra and Casa McCaskill. Andretti to Jaeger. Jaeger kicks it to Wade. She goes in, throws up a shot, and she makes it. He goes off to a good start. Back comes Jones for Panhandle State over to the far side to Myra. Myra's going to let loose a long three. That was short. Jaeger comes down with the rebound for the Eagles. Heads back up court behind the back dribble. Hands it to Clark. Clark to Wade, to Andrade. She's gonna let loose another three. Just a little short, skipped over the top of the rim. Comes back. And Myra McCaskill on the rebound. Jones goes in on Clark, throws it at the far corner. She fell out of bounds with it. Trying to save the pass was Rodriguez. It'll be a turnover, belong to the Eagles. Notary inbounds it for the Eagles to Jaeger. She dribbles up court, cross half, half court line. Man to man defense, ball's knocked out of Clark's hand. Still be Eagles ball. Clark inbounds it to Snowder. 
to Andrade. Andrade here on the wing. Back to Jans up. Jaeger up top. Jaeger drives in. Backs the back out. Finds Andrade. Wide open for another three. She's off a little bit. Ball taken down by Panhandle State. Up court quickly to Jones. Jones pushes it back out. Going into the paint. Floater put up. No good. Ball's going to go out of bounds off the Panhandle State. Belong to the Eagles. Rodriguez went in with a little floater that uh, didn't find home. Andrade at the top of the circle. She's going to dribble in. Gets fouled and she scores. She goes to the ground. Teammates over there to help her up and she'll go to the line to shoot bonus after making the basket. Fouls on Williamson for Panhandle State. That's her first foul, first team foul. Shots good. Jones for Panhandle State. Eagles in a man-to-man -man defense. She drives into the paint, kicks in the far corner, a long three put up, and that finds a home for the three-pointer by Rodriguez. Eagles quickly back, but Andrade's gonna be called for walking. So it'll be Panhandle State basketball. Pass outside, and then pulls it back in, passes it inside to McCaskill. No good, back comes the Eagles. Three on two, nice ball control by Andrade, and she'll score a basket. 10 to five lead here, 5.57 left. First quarter. Faking a three is Myra McCaskill. Hunting for someone. Finally finds Rodriguez. She throws up a shot. No good. Rebound by Panhandle State. We're going to have the ball taken away. Great job by Wade as she took it away from Williamson. Eagle ball. Back comes. Eagles on the ball. It's going to go out of bounds, but they're saying... It went off Rodriguez, don't know about that. That looks like Andretti was the last one to touch it for the Eagles, so, but the Eagles maintain control. Jaeger hands it to Andrade. Andrade makes a move, she goes all the way in. She got herself open, but missed the layup. She was expecting some pressure on the backside, never came. And then back come Panhandle State, and it went off of Jones's foot out of bounds. It'll be Eagle ball. Checking in for the Eagles. Number 11, Taylor. Freshman from Cashin, Oklahoma, point guard. Clark up top for the Eagles. She hadn't even shot the ball yet, and she's a deadly three-point shooter. Gets it over to Andrade, back to Clark. Now she'll let a three-point shot fly. Just misses in and out. Taylor with the rebound, back to Clark. Clark goes into the paint, drives in, puts up a floater, no foul called, misses a shot. Panhandle State comes back with the ball. Jones sets it up. Pass far side to Rodriguez. She's going to let loose a three, no good. Fight for the rebound. Going to go out of bounds. Good job by Panhandle State throwing it off of Snowder. As Myra McCaskill threw it off her, and it'll still stay Panhandle State ball. Jones to inbounds it. Oh, nice inbounds pass, but smart defense by the Eagles and uh, take away the uh, shot opportunity. Taylor, nearly double dribble, gets it to the righty, pass inside. Nice pass to. Snowder, she uses a backdoor layup and scores it. Yeah. 
Jones sets up the offense. Parkhurst in the game, hands it off for a three-point shot, and that is good by Cassie McCaskill. Three-pointer. Back come the Eagles. Andrade, near wing, up top to Taylor. Taylor hunting for someone to pass it to, now finds Andrade. Andrade goes in, nearly loses it, kicks it back to Taylor. Taylor dribbles in to Wade, back out to three-second call on Southwesterners. Taylor couldn't get out in time, so it'll be Panhandle State ball. Demuris checks into the game for Panhandle State. Also, Quintiero's into the game now for Panhandle State. Long three put up, no good. And ball's gonna belong to the Eagles. As Quintero missed the three point shot. Checking in for the Eagles now, number 25. Strain for the Eagles. She can flat out shoot a three ball too. Strain to Andrade. Andrade dribbles back up top, finds wide open and scoring his grosses into the game now for the Eagles. Nice pass. Andrade steals the ball. She's going to go on a one-on-one breakaway. She goes in. There's going to be a foul call. Let's see how they call it. <coughs> That's going to be on Panhandle State. That'll send Andrade to the line to shoot two. That foul is on Demuris. So Andrade. Shoots her first free throw, she makes it. That gives her nine points on the game to go with two assists already. Second one's up and 10 points now for Andretti here in the first quarter alone. Back comes Panhandle State. Kicks it out to Jones, Jones dribbles in. Throws it out to the far corner. To Quintero, she drives in, puts up a shot, no good. Gross on the rebound for the Eagles. And inside, Andretti loses control, but it's gonna go off and out of bounds off of Park, Parkhurst. It'll still belong to the Eagles. Andrade to Clark. Clark dribbles in. Makes a nice move. Leaves it short. Grabs her own rebound. Throws it up again. Going to go out of bounds and still belong to the Eagles. Two ten left here in the first quarter of action. Andrade to throw it in. Gets it into Clark. Clark fakes baseline. Then it goes off of... Uh, Panhandle State, Eagles will inbounds it again. 16 on the shot clock. Andrade to Strain. Strain to Taylor, she nearly walks. Manages to keep the foot down. To Clark, she spins, gets it back to Strain. Five on the shot clock, Andrade delivers in, makes a great move and scores a layup. Long three, put up, no good. Ball's gonna go out of bounds and belong to the Eagles off the Quintero miss three. Checking in for the Eagles is my squat. Lauren, a senior, you know, a sophomore from Chandler, Oklahoma. Cheerleaders in the house tonight. Andrade, far side to Musquat. 
Hands it to Gross. Gross loses control of it, but gets it to Andrade. Seven on the shot clock. She's going to make her move. She goes in hard and going to get called for walking. She felt the pressure of the shot clock running down there. Godwin checking in now for Panhandle State. Oh, nice dribble. Shot put up missing from uh, point blank was Demure. She made a great move, but uh, missed the shot. Andrade back to Strain. To Taylor. Taylor to Andrade. Wide open for a three. She passes it over to Masquat. Masquat to Taylor. Taylor to Strain. 15 on the shot clock to Andrade. Andrade's going to make her move inside. Goes in, throws up a shot, and make it. Andretti's having an unbelievable first quarter here. Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter. Pass inside, no good. As uh, Cassie McCaskill mid miss that from point blank. She's used to scoring bunches of points, and it hadn't happened for her here yet. Taylor buries a long three at the buzzer. And uh, that'll put the Eagles up off top 23 to eight here in the first quarter. Fast action. The Eagles are shooting 50% from the field. 52% as my stats refresh. Nine of 17 from the uh, free three point line. They're two of five for 40%. They're three for three from the free throw line. Six rebounds, two offensive, and four defensive. They've had four assists, three steals, and three turnovers. And Drade is your leading scorer for the Eagles with 14 big first quarter points. Gross had two rebounds, and Andrade had two uh, assists for Panhandle State. Three of 13 for only 23% shooting. They're two of eight behind the three point line for 25%. They haven't attempted a free throw yet. Rebounds, they've had six on one offense, five defensive, two assists, six turnovers, one block, and two team fouls. Uh, McCaskill, and that would be Cassie, is the leading scorer with only three points. Jones is the leading rebounder with two, and she is the assist leader for Panhandle State with one. So we're back to action. Panhandle State will have the ball right here below us. Eagles starting five is back in. And uh, kind of a stoppage as something was. Out on the floor. And now they're saying it's gonna go the other, or we've got a Going back to the coaches, so I'm not sure what all that was about. They found something on the floor, took it over to the uh, refs, uh, took it over to the bitch, scores table, and uh, now they're re-meeting, and uh, I guess we'll try this again here in a second. Uh, okay, they have a cheerleader that is down. Didn't notice that on the far end of the floor. And uh, that's what the timeout's about. They're checking her, him or her out. Can't see they a uh, crowd around. And uh, now she's up. And uh, walking rather gingerly and rather slowly as they're going to help her and take her back to the... Uh, Locker rooms to check to see what's going on. Wish I could give you more information, but I have no earthly idea what happened down there. Okay, now we're ready to start the action. And Panhandle State, whistle blows, we'll take the ball. And 
Quintero with the ball. Passes inside. That's knocked away by Andretti. Nearly stolen, but they come away with it. Then we're going to have a foul on the Eagles. And that's going to go on Wade. First foul, first team foul. So it'll be uh, Panhandle State ball underneath their own basket. Quinteris to inbounds it. Kicks it out. Myra McCaskill back into the game. Gets it to Cassie McCaskill. She throws cross court pass inside to Cassie. Cassie spins, throws up a left hand hook. No good. Jaeger there on the rebound for the Eagles, and back she comes. Andrade. Bounds Andrade is going to inbound it for the Eagles. Kicks a snutter to Jaeger up top to Wade. Now to Andrade here on the near wing. To Jaeger, back over to Snutter, back up top. To Clark, back to Andrade, three on the shot clock. She's got to go in, throws up a shot, misses. And uh, it's still live ball. Shot clock went off, but the ball hit the rim. Panhandle State come down with the rebound. Back they go. Now we're going to have a foul called on the Eagles, and that's going to send Quintiero to the line to shoot two. Jaeger on the foul for the Eagles. That's her first foul. Her shot is up and good. Second one's up, in and out, no good. And Andrade with the rebound for the Eagles. Hands it to Jaeger, who's coming back up court with a man-to-man -man defense. By Panhandle State. Snoder over to Clark here on the near wing. Looks inside. Gets a snoder over to Andrade on the far wing. Jaeger back up top. Andrade with the long three. That's a long, no good fight for the rebound. Wade comes with the way with it. Gets it to Jaeger. She's going to shoot a long three, no good. And we're going to have a push off on Snoder underneath as she pushed off on Cassia McCaskill. And it'll be Panhandle State ball. Three-point shot put up, no good. By Myra McCaskill, back come the Eagles. Jaeger, far side, hands it to Jamie Clark. Clark dribbles far side, hands it back to Jaeger. Jaeger's going to pull up from three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jones. She heads back up court quickly. Shot put up, no good. And Threddy with the real, we're going to have a jump ball. At uh, jump ball between Andrade and Myra McCaskill. So it'll be Eagle basketball. 737 left. Eagles on top, 23 to 9. Way to Jaeger. Jaeger looks underneath the snowder. She spins, shoots just short, skips across the rim. And back comes Panhandle State. Jones with the ball. Up top to Myra McCaskill, far side. Demures goes in. Yeager picks her up, and we're going to have a foul. And that foul's going to go on Yeager. That'll be her second foul.
Shot's good by Demures. Second one's up, and that one's good. Now number 30, Rodriguez. Rodriguez checks back in. Shots thrown up and good. 25 to 11 lead, 14 points for the Eagles. Down below us. Long three put up, no good by Cassie, or by Myra McCaskill. And picking up the shot, putting it back in for Panhandle State. Eagles back on offense. Jamie Clark buries a long three for the Eagles. Back and forth action. Jones, she'll pull up for a three and she makes it. Nothing but net. Back come the Eagles. Inside the uh, Wade, and she scores on a great pass from Taylor. Jones sets it up for Panhandle State. Up top to Cassie McCaskill driving in, trying to make a basket was Myra McCaskill. She or Cassie McCaskill, she misses, but putting it there and in was Williamson, and we're going to have a timeout called by the Eagles here with 5.34 left in the second quarter. Eagles are up on top, 30-18. to Coach Arthur wants to talk a little bit to his Eagles. Andrade, leading scorer for the Eagles still with 16 points. She has three rebounds, and she's the assist leader with four. Williamson, scoring leader for... Panhandle State with four, Jones with three rebounds and one assist. Back to action, eagle ball. Snowder inbounds it to Andrade, Clark, Wade, and Taylor on the floor for the Eagles. Andrade dribbles in, makes a move, dribbles, continues going deep, and he kicks it out to Clark. Clark makes a nifty move, gets it to Snowder. She'll throw up a three in and out. No good. Ball rebound by Jones for Panhandle State. She darts back up floor. The ball stolen by Andrade. Andrade, nobody in front of her, takes it. She gets fouled, pushed from behind. She scores. And she'll go to the line to shoot, too. And Myra McCaskill got called for that foul. That's her first foul. And Roddy makes the free throw. So she's uh, 19 points, I believe, here in first half action alone. Long three put up, air ball that time by Rodriguez. It's going to go out of bounds off of Panhandle State. It'll be Eagle basketball. Andrade fakes the three, kicks it back up top to Taylor. Taylor to Clark, makes a move, misses her shot. Wade with the rebound, she misses it. Now we're gonna have a three second violation, I believe. And it'll be a turnover. No, they're gonna call a foul. That foul's gonna go on Snowder. That's her second, so now we're gonna be coming down and shooting free throws.
Drain back into the game for the Eagles as Snowder will take a break with two fouls. First shots in the air, that's good by Myra McCaskill. Second one's up and that one is good. 33-20 with 425 left here in the second quarter. Taylor to string, hands it to Clark, goes around to pick, set by Gross to Andretti. Andretti starts her move, kicks it back out to string, wide open for three, and it's an eagle three ball. Big shot by Kristen Strain. Panhandle State back on the attack. Demures gets it to Cassia McCaskill, and she missed her three-point shot, but we're going to have a foul called on the Eagles. Going to be uh, gross. That'll be her first foul. That'll send Williamson to the line to shoot two. Williamson with six points on the game so far. Leading Panhandle State makes her first free throw. Second one is up long, no good. Gross with the rebound, gets it to Taylor. Taylor bringing the ball up court to Andrade in the corner. Andrade fakes driving, kicks it back out to Taylor. Back to Andrade, Andrade to Clark, wide open for three. That one's no good, a little off, and it's going to go out of bounds and belong to Panhandle State. And it'll stay on the attack. Rodriguez over to Demures to Jones. Jones goes around a pick to Rodriguez inside to Williamson. She backs in gross, gets double team, throws it back out to Rodriguez. She'll shoot a long three. No good. Strain on the rebound for the Eagles to Taylor. Taylor comes up court, hands it back to Strain. Andrade, she goes in. Reverse layup, 21 points here in the first half. Doing it all. They don't have an answer for her. They can't seem to stop her yet. Andrade tried to steal it. Going in, easy buck at that time. For Cassia McCaskill. That's her fifth point on the game. Clark for the Eagles. Tries to make a pass, gonna go out of bounds and belong to the Eagles. Clark to Strain to Andrade, up top to Taylor to Clark, fakes the three, dribbles in, pulls up. Gets it back to Andrade, wide open. She's dribbling in with four, lays it up, and easily scores. Forty twenty-three, two oh four left here in the second quarter. Ball stolen by Taylor. Took it out of Cassia McCaskill's hands. Gets it to Andrade, over to Jamie Clark, wide open, long three, a little strong. Back comes Rodriguez. Kicks it to Williamson, nearly stolen. Gets it into Demers, no good on her shot. Back come the Eagles. Slowing it down a little bit now. Minute 30. Clark long three and she gets fouled. She'll go the line to shoot three as that foul's gonna be on Rodriguez. That's her first foul of the game. 
And uh, she's going to go take a seat as Quintero's back in for her. And Williamson is going to go take a seat. And let's see, number 25, Davis. Samantha Davis is checked in for her. And Jamie Clark makes her free throw. Up with her second one. That was good. Gets one more. Makes all three. The Eagles from the line are eight of eight. Jones sets it up for Panhandle State, far side. Back to Jones up top. Ball nearly stolen by Strain. Back up to Jones, she dribbles in, kicks it back out. To Demaris, the long shot put up, no good. Gross on the rebound, but it's going to go out of bounds off of her as she's trying to corral it, and it'll be Panhandle State ball. Jones Dam bounds it. Far side to Quintero. Back outside, a three-point shot put up and missed by Cassie McCaskill. Spin shot put in off of the uh, offensive rebound by Davis. Davis from Hooker, Oklahoma, out in the western part of the state. Taylor to Clark, back up to Taylor. Coach Arthur stands up and tells him what he wants for 27 seconds left inside to Gross. And the ball goes out of bounds and going to belong to Panhandle State. Forty-three twenty-five. 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. Action. Glad you joined us. From Bethany, Oklahoma, Jones goes into the paint, kicks it back out, and ball poked away by Andrade. And that's going to be it. First half of action is over. Eagles up on top, 43 to 25. Eagles, Andrade, just unstoppable. Nobody had an answer for her. We'll give you the halftime stats here in a second, and then we're going to take about a 10 minute break. Be back for second half action. Plan uh, for Saturday is a men's game here at 2 o'clock against Oklahoma City University. We'll see if that happens as a major winter weather is on its way. All right, first half action. Eagles 45 to 70, 45% on 16 to 35 shooting. Behind the three point line, they were 4 13 for 30%, a little off their mark there. Free throws, a big seven or seven from the free throw line, and they have 15 rebounds, four offensive, 11 defensive rebounds. They have eight assists, six steals, five turnovers, no blocks, and 16 fouls. Andrade is your leading scorer for the Eagles and on the game. She has 23 big points. She's done that on nine of 14 shooting. She's one of four behind the three-point line. She's four of four from the uh, free throw line. Next up behind her is uh, Jamie Clark with six points. She uh, did that on one of eight shooting. She made one of four behind the three-point line, and she was three of three from the free throw line. Behind that, Hannah Wade with four. Uh, Strain with a three-pointer, and Taylor made a three-pointer. Leading rebounder there again for the Eagles. We uh, have three. Now we have a lot of players with three. Gross has three. Hannah Wade has three. And then uh, Andretti have three. And then assists. Andretti with five big assists. And anybody close to her only has one. Four, Panhandle State. They were 8 of 29 for 27% shooting. Three of 15 behind the three point line for 20%. They were six of eight from the free throw line for 75%. They out-rebounded the Eagles by one. They had 16, five offensive, 11 defensive. They had two assists, one steal, nine turnovers, one block, and 14 fouls. 
Williamson was their leading scorer. She did that on three of three shooting and one of two from the free throw line for seven points. And then uh, Cassia Miss McCaskill, two of eight shooting, one of four from the three point line for five points and then three for Jones and three for Rodriguez. Leading rebounder is uh, two. Williamson had four and Jones had four. Three by Myra McCaskill and uh, two by Cassia McCaskill. Assists, we had uh, one assist each by Jones and Rodriguez. So that's the end of first half. The Eagles are up on top, 43 to 25. We'll take care about a 10 minute break and we'll be back to action here in just a little bit. I'm Danny Nix. Thank you for listening to Eagles basketball.
All right, as we get ready here for second half action. I've been informed that Andrade, her career high is 33 points, which was uh, done at the last uh, game. And the record for the Eagles in modern day history, and that is since the team has joined the NAIA, is 35 points. So uh, we'll see what happens here in the second half. She uh, has a second half like she had first half. She'll shatter that record. All right, we're a minute away. Both teams are meeting with the coaches again. The Eagles are up top here, 43 to 25, as we get ready for the second half. The Aggies just haven't found an answer for Andretti. As she's been able to shoot from inside on her drive. She's always been a great driver with the ball being able to uh, make a path to the basket and then uh, hit, uh, hit a three-pointer from the outside. So uh, let's see what happens. It will be the Aggies ball. Again, they are in black, trimmed in red. They'll be going right to left. The Eagles are in white, trimmed in uh, blue. They'll be going left to right this half. Aggies are still meeting with their coach. Now they're out on the floor. The Eagles have their starting five. Uh, Jaeger, Clark, Wade, Snowder, and Andretti out. Missing uh, Kia Mays tonight. Out with a uh, injury. And the Eagles start out in a man-to-man. -man. We're gonna have a foul call quickly on Andretti. That'll be her first foul of the game. Rodriguez will throw it in from the far side, gets it to Jones. Jones sets up the offense. Clark picks her up, goes around a pick set by Williamson. Far side to Rodriguez. Casilla Clark. Um, Casilla McCaskill dribbles in, kicks it out to Jones. Jones dribbles back in, makes a move, throws up a left-hand hook, no good. Grabs her own rebound, kicks away outside. Rodriguez with a long three, and she buries that one. Good shot by Rodriguez as she got open. Back come the Eagles. Clark inside to Wade. She throws up an easy shot, and she scores it. Jones across the half court line for the Aggies. I see a McCaskill, she'll bury that three. Maybe she's gonna get a hot hand here this second half. Andrade dribbles in, kicks it out to Jaeger, to Clark, misses her three, back come the Aggies in a pass too far forward. Can't catch up with it is Myra McCaskill will be Eagles ball. Jaeger to Snowder. Tandrede to Jaeger. Up top to Clark. She fakes the three. Gets it to Andrede. Andrede picks up her dribble. Gets it back to it's not her long three, no good. And Jones comes away with the rebound. For the Aggies up court, she comes to Rodriguez, back to her inside to Williamson. She makes a move, goes around. Wade and scores. 45-33, 12 point lead, Andretti. No points yet, kicks it over to Clark. Clark fakes the three. Loses control, taken away by Cassia McCaskill. Back she comes with the ball to Jones. Long three, and she buries that. So uh, we're going to have a timeout call by Coach Arthur. He's going to try to put a stop to this run real quick as they've uh, got back when within nine of uh, the Eagles. Andretti still on 23 points. 
And she still has three rebounds and five assists. Williamson with nine points for the Aggies. Jones with seven rebounds. And two assists. By McCaskill, Myra McCaskill. All right, it'll be Eagles ball. Feel a little momentum shift. The Eagles need to score here and change things around. Jaeger and Andrade, she'll dribble it, kicks it back out to Snoder. She dribbles in, makes a hard move, and we're going to have a foul called. That'll put her to the line to shoot two. Foul. Is going to go uh, number four, Jones. That'll be her first foul of the game. Noter buries her first one. Gets ready for the second one. She buries that. So two big free throws. Back comes the Aggies, far side to Jones. Clark on her. Rodriguez with the long three, blocked by Andrade. Andrade's doing it all here. Up to Clark, she fakes the three, she dribbles in, pulls up, puts up a two-pointer, no good. A little hard off the glass, back comes Jones. Casilla McCaskill, long three, that one's no good, and it's gonna go out of bounds, but before it goes out of bounds, we're going to have a foul called, and that's going to go on Wade. Her second foul, it'll be the Aggies' ball underneath their own basket. Jones inbounds the ball. Way out top to Myra McCaskill. Dribbles in, spins. Oh, good defense by Wade. Rodriguez. Over to Cassia McCaskill. Andrade steals that one. We're going to have a foul called. And that's going to be on Cassie McCaskill. Eagle ball. Foul was on Cassie. That's her first foul. Second team foul. Eagles with the ball. Jaeger hands it to Andrade. Andrade kicks it to Clark, shoots along three, no good. Andrade with the rebound, pulls it back out. Gets it to Clark. To Andrade, up top, makes her move, goes in, kicks it back to Wade, to Jaeger. Five seconds on the shot clock to Andrade, to a wide open Snoder, and she buries a three. Another assist. For Andrade. Cassie McCaskill now gets it over to Jones here on the near wing. Back to Myra McCaskill. Far side to Cassie. Cassie inside to Williamson. She backs in. Throws up a shot. No good. Felt the pressure. Threw it up too hard. Back comes Jaeger for the Eagles. Hands it to Clark. Clark dribbles in. Gets it to Snowder. To Jaeger. Jaeger pulls up from the free throw line and she buries it. So the Eagles jumping back out. 52-36. 16-point lead. 5-12 left in third quarter. And they've been doing this without Andrade scoring. But she's been playing defense and making assists and rebounds. Far side, Jones dribbles in, and she's going to get fouled, and that foul is going to go on Clark for the Eagles. Taylor checks back in for Jaeger for the Eagles. Williamson checks out, and number 20, Parkhurst is back into the game for the Aggies. Parkhurst. Jones, back to Myra McCaskill. She dribbles in, makes a nice move, throws it up, and she's going to get called for walking. That's how come it was a nice move, one step too many. (laughs) 
Eagle basketball tonight from cold Bethany, Oklahoma. I bet it's colder out there in the panhandle for all you folks watching out there. Taylor to Clark. Clark going to let loose a long three. Nothing but air. Eagle three ball. Wow. Great shot. 55-36. Eagle lead. Rodriguez goes in hard. Knocked Wade over and uh, couldn't make the shot, though, and no foul called. It's going to be Eagle ball as a win out of bounds. Taylor doing a good job tonight at the point. To Andrade. Andrade hadn't had a point here yet in this third quarter. Taylor to Clark. Inside. To Snowder, to Clark, she'll pull up from the free throw line and she buries another one, so Clark's hot now. And we're gonna have a timeout called here by the Aggies as uh, Coach Espazara wants to talk to his girls. So let's see what the Eagles are doing. 20 of 43 for 46%, they're now six of 18 for 33% behind the three point line, they're nine and nine free throws. Andrade leading score with 23. She has four rebounds and six assists now. Clark, other leading score for the Eagles with nine points. For the Aggies, 12 of 36 for 33%. They're six of 19 for 31% behind the three point line. 75% free throw shooters doing that on six of eight shooting. And they've got 20 rebounds. Williamson with nine points is their leading scorer. Jones leading rebounder with eight. And Cassie McCaskill still with two assists. Teams coming back out on the floor. Fouled. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul's going to be on Jones. That's her second foul. Strain comes in as Snowder takes a seat. Free throw is good by Andrade. And we're gonna have a lane violation. On the Eagles, 58-36. Aggies back on the attack. Jones over to Rodriguez, to Parkhurst, to Cassie McCaskill. Drives in, kicks it back out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez goes in on Taylor, kicks it out. To Quintero, she goes in, shoots, and she's gonna get fouled. That foul is gonna go on strain. That'll be her first foul. So Quintiero's at the line. First one's up and no good. Hard off the back rim. Second one is up and no good. Roscoe's chases the rebound down in the far corner, and back comes Taylor to strain. To Clark inside to Gross, and then we're going to have a foul called. What's foul going to be? That's going to go against the Aggies, against Parkhurst. That's her first foul, and it'll be Eagle Ball underneath their own basket. And Drade to inbounds it. The strain, ball stripped away from her by Jones. Good defense. She takes off down court. Clark picks her up. Ooh, wide open uh, pass to Cassia McCaskill, and she scores it. And Trotty, wide open to Clark for a three. In and out, no good. Cassie McCaskill with three rebound, hands it to Jones. Jones here at the near wing. 
Clark's on her. Gets it to Rodriguez, to Cassie McCaskill. Andrade and her. She goes in, throws up a left-hand shot, gets it to go in. 58-40, 18-point lead for the Eagles. 152 left here in the third quarter. Strain, nice pass to Clark. She gets fouled, no call. And it's going to go out of bounds, belong to the Eagles. Coach Arthur up talking. Andretti then bounces it. Gets it into Clark. Clark dribbles in. We're going to have a push off on Parkhurst. That'll be her second foul. That will put Jamie Clark to the line to shoot two free throws. First one is good. Jamie should be in double figures now. As that's her 13th point, I believe. Back comes Jones, far corner to Quintero. She drives in on strength, kicks it out. Oh, should have been walking, no call. Ball tipped away by Taylor. Fight down below us, and it goes off of Quintiero, and it's going to be Eagles ball. Wow. Not sure about that call, but hey. Eagle ball, Clark, or uh, Taylor across the half-court line. Coach wasn't happy with that call at all. Jamie Clark right below us. Gets it to Andrade, a minute 12 left. Andrade, quiet scoring. Gross, and we're going to have a foul called. And that's going to be an offensive foul on Gross. And back comes Jones for the Aggies. To Kessie and McCaskill inside. Ball stolen away, knocked away by Strang. Good hands. Back come Eagles. In goes to Andrade. She throws up a shot, just misses. Probably a little wild on that one. Would have been advised to pull it back out. Oh, wide open. It's Cassie McCaskill underneath as defense lost her. She scores a nice little left-handed shot. 33 seconds left. 22 on the shot clock. Taylor to Clark. She dribbles in, kicks it to Strain. She's wide open for three, and she buries it. Strain with two big threes tonight. Nearly stolen. Parkhurst, far side, dribbles in. Goes all the way in. We're going to have a foul. That's going to go on Gross. That'll be her third foul. Masquat getting up and coming in for the Eagles. And Clark will take a break. First shot is up and good by Parkhurst. That's her first point of the game. Second one's up and good. And Taylor throws up a long one from the half-court line. That's no good. So that'll be the end of the third quarter. Eagles up are on top, 63-44. Eagles shooting 22-47 now for 46%. 7-19 behind the three-point line for 36%. 12-of-12. From the free throw line, they'll have to tell you that's 100%. They have 19 rebounds, 5 offensive, 14 defensive, 11 assists, 9 steals, 8 turnovers. Shows them with no block, but I know of one block that they had. 12 team fouls. 
Uh, Andrade, your leading scorer with 24 points. Behind her is Jamie Clark with 13. And uh, seven points by Galian Snowder. Leading rebounder is Gross with five rebounds now. I think Andrade has, uh, she's actually got four. Uh, and then uh, assists, six by Andrade. Leading scorer is Cassia McCaskill, 14 points now for the Aggies. Jones with eight rebounds. And Jones with three assists. Back to action. It'll be Eagles ball right here below us. Jaeger back into the game. Over to Snowder. Jaeger far side. Three. Almost blocked. Andrade picks up the ball. Fight for it. And we're going to have a jump ball called. And it'll be the Aggies ball. Jones bringing it up for the Aggies. Far side to Parkhurst. To Quintero, she dribbles in, gets it back out to Jones. To Parkhurst, she wanted to shoot a three, thought better of it. Gets it to Demure, she dribbles in, throws up a shot, and she's going to be called for walking. She can't believe that, but it is, and away the ball comes back to the Eagles. Snowder up top, chance far side. Up to Andretti. Andretti to Wade. Back to Andretti. Fakes the three. She dribbles in. Gets it stripped. Grabs the ball. Throws it up and scores. Good job to stay after it by Andrade that time. To Muirs. Pass inside to Jones. Pass inside, chop it up and blocked as uh, Demures try to put one up. Back comes Andrade over to Jaeger. The mask block, she goes all the way in, makes a nifty move and scores. Jones setting up the offense for the Aggies over on the far side to Quintiero. She shoots a long three and she makes it. Jaeger got herself open but didn't take it in. Kicks it back out to Snowder for a long three and she buries it. Wow. Good job, Eagles. Far side. Cassia McCaskill misses that three, lifted a little short. Back come the Eagles. Jaeger with the ball. Comes across the half court line. Over to Andrade. Nobody on her. She'll dribble up. Gets it to Snowder. Far corner. She dribbles back up top to Masquat. To Jaeger. Jaeger. To Andrade. Andrade dribbling in. She goes all the way in, throws up a shot, and it just comes back out, barely. Demuris to Quinteris. To Jones, Masquat picks her up. Andretti tries to steal it. They're gonna have a foul call, see who they call this on. It's going to be on Wade. That'll be her third foul. So Clark checks back in, and Andrade is going to go take a seat with uh, 26 points, five rebounds, and six assists. Shot is good by Cassia McCaskill. I'll give her 15. 
and makes the second one. And checking in for her is Myra McCaskill. Yeager for the Eagles. To Snowder, to Jamie Clark on the far wing. Dribbles back up top to gets it to Yeager. Yeager dribbles far side, kicks it back to Clark. Nine on the shot clock. To Snowder, she'll pull up for three. Just misses. We're going to have a foul call. I believe that's going to go on Wade. They say she pushed uh, Jones down. Wade with her fourth foul, 619 left. She's going to go take a seat. Gross will check back in for her. Jim yours over to Jones here on the near wing. Masquat picks her up. She makes a move, goes in, kicks it back out. To Demure, she shoots a long three, no good. Five for the rebound, Jones comes away with it. And long three put up, and that is good by Myra McCaskill. Jaeger to Snowder, back to Masquat. Masquat gets the ball stolen by Jones. Going in, easy layup. 70-54, 16-point lead, 5-23. And Dorade gets ready to check back in for the Eagles. We're going to have a foul called. That's going to go on Quintiero. And that'll send Masquat to the line to shoot. And underneath the basket, my bad, that's only the uh, first team foul here in the uh, fourth quarter. Clark will throw it in. Gets it to Gross over to Andrade. Andrade hands it to Clark. Clark to Taylor. Back to Masquat. Back to Clark. Back to Masquat. Masquat. Far side to Clark. Buries a three. Eagle three ball. We're going to have a timeout called by the Eagles. With 73-54 left. I'm sorry, with the score 73-54, we've got 4.51 left. My eyes are going on me. McCaskill. Cassie with 16 points and Dreddy with 26 for the Eagles. Jones, 10 rebounds. And Dreddy, 5 for the Eagles. Jones with 4 assists for the Eagles. And then Dreddy with 6. Bench scoring tonight Eagles with 13. Aggies with 10. Points in the paint Eagles with 30. 20 for the Aggies. Second chance points 13 for the Aggies. 5. For the Eagles, and points off of turnover. Big Eagles with 19 points uh, off the turnovers and seven for the Aggies. It'll be Aggies ball. Eagles have Andrade, Clark, Taylor, Masquat, and Gross in the game. Jones over to Rodriguez, goes around to pick. Set by Myra McCaskill. Jones, one to shoot a three, decide to pull it up. And good hands by the Eagles, and they come away with a steal up to Andrade. Wide open. She gets fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. 
caught her on a breakaway. And uh, as she went up for the shot, she got hammered. Go to the line to shoot two. Her shot is good. Second one is good. Taylor on the far side gives it to Rodriguez to Myra McCaskill. Kicked out to Rodriguez. Back to Myra McCaskill. To Demuris inside. Spinning, turning, shooting, no good. Was Davis, back come the Eagles. Clark wide open for a three and she just misses. Gross on the rebound, she'll put up her own shot, misses, comes away with the rebound, we'll have a jump ball, it'll be Eagle ball. Masquat with a long three, in and out. We're going to have Andrade for a foul over the back of Jones, and that'll be her second foul. Far side, Rodriguez. Taylor on her. Kicks it out, stolen away by Clark. Clark looking up, keeps going. Now she pulls up and gets it to Masquat, hands it to Taylor. Taylor turns, gets it back to Masquat. Hands it to Clark. Clark wide open for a three, no good, hard. Back comes Jones with the ball. She'll kick it over. To Demures, her three is no good. Gross with the rebound. Good rebound. That's her eighth rebound of the game. Two forty-four left. Taylor to Masquat gets it to Andrade. Andrade dribbles back up top, taking their time. Coach calls out play two. Andrade going to make a move. She's going. Fake a three and makes a bad pass. And we're going to have a shot clock violation too. So it's going to belong to the Aggies. Wholesale substitutions now for the Aggies. Jaeger checks back in for Masquat. Salazar is in the game now with Parkhurst and Davis. Tim Yours hands it to Parkhurst. Long pass over to the far side to Quintero. She drives in, throws it out of bounds. Threw it over the top of. Uh, Demures. Eagle ball. Clark hands it to Jaeger. Minute 58 left. Taylor. Tandrade. Andrade, a real quiet second half. After 21 points in the first half, gets it to Clark, wide open three, and she buries it. So it's all over but the shouting here. We will give you game time stats before we get out of here tonight. Pass inside, knocked away by Gross. Back come the Eagles. Clark, wide open underneath to Taylor, and she scores it.
Tim Mears goes in, throws up a left hand shot, and she scores. Back come the Eagles, Taylor. Dribbling around, 45 seconds left to Jaeger. Hands it to Clark, back up to Andretti. Goes out of bounds, still remain Eagle ball with 33 seconds left. Masquat's back in, and Drede will take a seat. She'll lead the night with 28 points, seven assists. Jaeger to inbound it, gets it to Masquat. Gets it to Taylor, and she just throws up a shot as the shot clock ran out. And it'll be the Aggies' ball. Parkhurst will inbounds it. To Quintero. Kicks it back up to Demure. She dribbles in, throws up a shot. It is no good as the foul is going to be called on the floor. And the foul is going to go on Jaeger. That'll be her third foul. Shots good by Demures. That's her fifth point on the game. Second one's up, and that's good. Ten seconds left. Taylor's out here, just kind of going to hold on to it. And that will be... Your final here from Southwestern, the Eagles 80, the Aggies 58. Let's get you some stats and get outside and go home in this cold weather. The Eagles 50, 28 of 61 for 45% shooting. They were 10 of 38 from behind the three-point line. Amazingly, 14 of 14 from the free throw line, 100%. They had 26 rebounds, eight offensive, 18 defensive. They had 15 assists. 12 steals, 12 turnovers, one block, and 17 team fouls. Leading scorer for the Eagles tonight, as we've talked about all night long, Andrade. Andrade had 28 points. She did that on 10 of 17 shooting, one of four behind the th uh, three-point line. She was 7 of 7 from the uh, free throw line, so seven big points from there. Behind her was Jamie Clark, 19 points, 5 of 18. She got hot there in that second half and hit 4 of 11 from the three-point line. She hit 5 of 5 three throws. Uh, after that, we had 6 points apiece by Strain and 6 by Wade and 5 by Taylor this evening. So a good job by the Eagles tonight on the offensive end. Rebounds. Gross comes in off the bench, and she grabs eight rebounds, and Andrade had five rebounds. Leading assists, Jamie Clark had four, and Andrade for the Eagles had seven. For the Aggies, they were 19 of 49. They got a little better shooting there in that second half for 38%. They were eight of 24 behind the three-point line. For 33%, they were 12 of 16 from the free throw line for 75%. They uh, had 24 rebounds. Eagles had 26. They had seven offensive, 17 uh, defensive rebounds. They had eight assists, six steals, 22 turnovers. That is the big difference in the game right there. They had two blocks, 11 team fouls. Leading scorer was McCaskill. She had uh, 16 points in the game. Uh, Cassia, she did that on six of 15 shooting. Not her normal night, two of seven from three-point line, and she was 2-2 two two from the from the free throw line. Eight points by Tatum Jones, 3-4 shooting, 2-2 two two behind the three-point line. Nine points by Williamson. She did that on 4-5 shooting. 
Six points by Rodriguez. So pretty balanced scoring across the board for the Aggies. Leading rebounder with 11 was Jones for her size. She did a great job underneath the boards. And then she was the assist leader with four assists. Our player of the game for the Eagles, obviously, will be Andrede. With the night she had, first half, she just took control and uh, did anything and everything she wanted from that point forward. And uh, that's your ball game. The Eagles win tonight. We thank you for joining us here from Southwestern Christian University. I've been Danny Nix. Glad to uh, bring the game to you tonight. Join us again here this Saturday afternoon if weather permits and COVID prevents. Permits, we will play at 2 o'clock. Men's game here. The men will play the Oklahoma City uh, Chiefs from Oklahoma City University. And then we'll be back here again next Thursday night for two games. Ladies game at 6 and the guys game at 8. Thank you for joining us tonight. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And you make it worthwhile by watching. So we will see you Saturday. Thank you for watching Eagle Basketball.